So Latitude 64 sent us one of their Royal boxes for 2024. Now, if you're wondering what a Royal box for 2024 is, it's basically a collection of their discs that they're planning to release in the new year. So we're gonna unbox these five discs, tell you what we know about them currently. We'll also test them with a few throws in a field so you can make a more informed decision. So let's get into it. All right, so let's see what we got. What are these five discs? What is new with Latitude 64? So, give this little message, kind of explaining what this is all about. And then they also give you an explanation to all of their discs that we're gonna use to help us better understand what we're about to see. All right, so it comes with this little tote bag. I'm gonna put the disc to the side and then we'll start picking them up one by one. All right, so let's start with the first disc from this box. We got a prototype. It's a grand stride in the Royal Plastic and you can kind of call it an understable version of the Rive. And they really make us think about saying that it's not a beginner's disc, it's good for experienced players as well. So really like the look of this one, interested to know how it turns out in the end, but we'll test it out and we'll have a look. Let's take a look at the next disc, another beaut. Another prototype, their Grand Brave. So you get that premium tacky feel, but wow, this one feels a little bit more firm than the Strive. But the way they describe it is a seven speed, but one that feels like an Explorer, but with a little bit more of an understable flight. They say it glides like a river, but feels like an Explorer. So it's gonna be a workable disc with some good stability, but not too overstable. Excited to see how this one flies. Beautiful disc. Now, just a quick clarification with these two prototype discs, Royal is not the plastic, Grand is the type of plastic for these discs, one of their premium, but Royal is how they manufacture. So they have different levels of molds that they create and Royal is their premium. So there's just less flashing, it's a lot smoother. You get a better product, but of course you're gonna pay for it. So just wanted to clarify that. All right, let's move on to the third disc. This has gotta be the best looking disc out of the bunch so far. So this is their Grand Orbit Honor. Now, if you didn't know, they actually released this disc in 2023, but this is their new version, the Orbit. Now they describe the flight rating of this disc as a nine speed, five glide, zero turn, and a 2.5 fades, fitting between a pioneer and an explorer stability wise. They say for most humans, it's gonna be quite overstable, but it still can be a disc that you do some nice flex shots with, or perhaps big hyzer shots where you need to get around something. Very excited to test this one out. So let's look at the next one. Here we go, a uh, Savior. Now this is the Sense Moon Moonshine Savior and just by feeling it right off the bat you can hear that more of a base plastic now they say it has a speed of four a glide of four so less glide for more accuracy a turn of zero and a fade of three so yes an overstable approach disc one that's going to be ideal for those forehands and as it beats in it's going to get a little bit more of a straighter flight with that trusty fade finish finally let's look at the last disc in the Royal Box 2024 we got the Hope just by feeling it out right off the bat it feels very similar to what I use the AVR. That's exactly what I expect. A speed of two, a glide of three, a turn of zero, and a fade of one. So the Hope has always been popular among Latitude 64 players, but now they have it in the Grand Plastic. Anyways, it's time to get out and test these new discs for 2024. Let's throw them in our field here close to home. It's a little bit cooler. We'll try some backhands and forehands, and then we'll let you know our thoughts. So let's go. All right, so I just got finished throwing these five discs from the new Royal Box 2024. Right off the bat, let me tell you, my two favorite are the new prototypes, the Strive and the Brave. I'll talk about them more in a second. And my least two favorite, might be a surprise to some, is the Honor as well as the Savior. So let's start off with the putter, the Hope. So many putters on the market are just like this one, two, three, zero, one. There's really not much for me to say about it. It has good control, it flies very smooth, nice hover with a nice subtle fade finish, just like the AVR, just like the P2, just like so many other kind of putters that are out there, but a great throwing putter. It'll also work well as a putting putter. Next up, we have the Savior. Uh, I threw this both backhand and forehand, and I just don't like it. I don't like the plastic. I don't like the base, especially in these cooler temperatures. And although it's a forehand disc, I tried it both backhand, forehand, and it just didn't do exactly what I wanted it to. I found that there really wasn't a lot of grip under the rim. The, the diameter, how much you actually get for your fingers, and I have small fingers, just didn't feel that comfortable. And although it had a nice overstable flight the entire way, it's just not, not as good as I expected. Next up was the Brave. And honestly, probably had to say this was the favorite. It's a nice, 
beautiful seven speed disc. Reminds me so much of a nice workable seven speed like a Leopard 3 that I enjoy throwing so much. Really a great disc for hyzer flips when you have the speed, as you can see. Just a great disc. I mean, it will hold the turn, so you do have to be careful, but for a lot of players, all skill levels, this is gonna be a multi-use disc. So really excited for them to release this one. All right, now the Strive, it is an excellent disc. I would definitely bag this disc after I've beaten it in a little bit. With this crosswind, cooler temperatures, it was a little more overstable than I like, but once again, it's almost there. So if I were to throw this for a few months uh, or perhaps in warmer temperatures, it's gonna fit beautifully in my bag, similar to my Charger or a Wraith. That's kind of where I see this disc. Beautiful one. Honestly, I suggest you pick it up if you like any of those discs. And last but not least, the best looking disc was one of my least favorites. Uh, nine speeds that act like a Thunderbird because that's what this disc reminds me of in that new Orbit plastic. Just can't get it to do what I really want it to do. It's always a little bit too overstable for my liking, even though higher speed discs with similar flight numbers I can throw better. So I don't know what it is about nine speeds, Thunderbird S discs. They just don't work that well for me, but maybe they might work better for you. So there you have it. Those are the discs from the Royal Box 2024. We'll put some links in the description where you can pick them up yourselves. And obviously if you've thrown these yourself, let us know what you think in the comments below. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt.